guys and welcome to another Disney reading. Uh, today we've got uh, Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is the sweetest songs of all, and March 19th. Why is Quasimodo... I can't speak. <laughs> Why is Quasimodo so sad? asked Hugo. Judge Frollo has commanded that he never leave Notre Dame Cathedral, answered Victor. He's lonely because he has no friends. But I'm his pal, and so are you, Hugo said. We're made of stone, Victor said. Quasimodo needs living friends. But gargoyles make great friends, Hugo exclaimed. We're always there, and you can't break our hearts, because they're hard as rock. Hush, here he comes now, said Victor. Good morning, Quasi, Hugo cried. Nice day for ringing bells. I guess so, Quasimodo replied, staring at the people far below. Cheer up, what do they have down there that we don't have up here? Hugo asked. Quasimodo frowned. I don't know because I've never been there, but I hear people laughing and singing. Then Victor spoke. The sweetest songs of all can be heard in this tower, if you do what I tell you to. I will, Quasimodo cried. I will take a long time, so you must be patient, warned Victor. I will, I will, Quasimodo promised. The f then fetch a piece of firewood and a knife from the kitchen, Victor commanded. Quasimodo quickly returned with both. I want you to carve a statue of a dove, said Victor. Quasimodo nodded. For two days he worked. On the third day he showed Hugo his first carving. Wow, that really looks like a dove, said Hugo. I'm going to carve a finch tomorrow, Quasimodo vowed. For many weeks Quasimodo carved hundreds of birds out of wood. Larks and <coughs> thrushes and robins and sparrows. Each statue was better than the last. He worked so hard that he nearly forgot he was lonely. Finally he showed Victor and Hugo a carving of a beautiful nightingale. It is your best work of all, said Victor. Quasimodo was so proud that he set, <clears throat> set his bird on the highest tower so they could all admire it. The next morning he was surprised to see two real birds perched next to his statue. More birds soon arrived. Soon even uh, some even built nests. Soon hundreds of, uh, and, uh, hundreds of birds lived in Notre Dame. They woke Quasimodo with their songs in the morning. They sang him to sleep at night. As Victor said, the sweetest songs of all had to come to Notre Dame. Since that day, birds have always lived in Notre Dame Cathedral. So if you did like that story, please click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And the next one will be Toy Story 2 Yard Sale. Okay, bye-bye.